bus, Phil is off exploring Abbey Road Studios. I'm sitting here with Dieter and we're going to talk about the Philips Ambulite system. Dieter, why don't you tell us something about yourself? Hi Jules, uh, thanks for having me here in this great location at Abbey Road Studios. I'm Dieter Verlende, Innovation Team Lead at TP Vision for Picture Quality and Ambulite. Uh, so Dieter, I work a lot in grading studios where bias lighting is an absolute must. In fact, the SIMPTI Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, I have a reference for it. So we're looking for a five-nit fixed output from bias lighting, and it should be D65. And obviously, there are, there are really important reasons for this. You know, so the Philips TV we have here has Ambilight, and it has capability to be set up as a bias light, just like I've explained for the grading studio. That's correct, Jules. Um, Ambilight is more than just a bias light. It can do more, but at least you can set it or tune it to have a bias light uh, setting. Mm -hmm. uh, and in that case, you mentioned D65, you can tune it, you can grade it to D65, and you can uh, put your light output to whatever you want. And that is just easy, go into the menu, and you select uh, warm white, and you can tune to whatever biased light setting you want, even if you would choose a fixed color uh, of your liking. If you would prefer that in your environment, you never know. But for reference studio capabilities, this television, this 908, really has the capabilities to yeah. do that. Yep. And that's something I've done before with Philips TVs. Mm -hmm. I've actually you know, tuned the Ambilight to be a reference bias light like that. And it's, it's great actually to have that built into the display rather than having some sort of aftermarket um, LED strip. Um, and of course, it, the Ambilight here, it's, uh, it, it goes all the way around the panel, doesn't it, rather than just a single strip? This is a three-sided Ambilight. Uh, for most users, it's more than enough. You have both sides and the top uh, projecting the light you want. In mm -hmm. case of bias light, it's a fixed light. In case of Ambilight, it is following the content of the video much more. The reasons, obviously, why we do this in a grading studio is for the colorist's eye fatigue, so we can avoid that, so that they're always making correct color decisions throughout the day, because you, you're in a very dark room all day with a very high contrast display, and uh, when your eyes get tired and you're grading content, you lose that, that capability. Um, there's also the question of, uh, when you're looking at high brightness um, displays, high contrast, uh, your eye doesn't necessarily respond quickly enough, so you can actually get mm -hmm. temporarily blinded if you're making decisions about shadow detail, etc. To have a slight bias light there to just soften that impact can help in your creative decisions. Uh, so uh, the Philips TV we have here, the, the, the 90, it has that capability all built in, which is great. Of course, and, and that's how the Ambilight was created 20 years ago, yeah. because we wanted, we, we recognize that we've been Bias light has been there, the need for bias light has been there ever since the start mm -hmm. of television. Uh, people used to stick uh, ugly lamps on top of their television yeah. to, to get a kind of bias lighting in the room because mm. eye fatigue is one of the major reasons why people want to use bias light. Yeah. Uh, and of course, it is important for keeping a stable reference inside your room for, uh, for picture quality yeah. reasons. So, um, we've, this, is a, this has been always our starting point from Ambilight. Yeah. We want to have a possibility to get good bias lighting inside the TV because it is necessary point. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it can be quite a controversial subject on forums. And you see a lot of, I, see, I, I, I frequent AV forums quite a lot and you see people arguing about the, the um, benefits of bias lighting or, or, or ambilight beyond the reference, which mm -hmm. obviously we can do with this display, which is what I really appreciate. What are the, some of the things you can tell us about how ambilight would, would operate beyond that reference environment and why, yeah. why you think it's helpful? So our starting point was biased lighting, but then we started during the development of ambilight to see that changing the color of your biased light in function of what's happening on television is in fact not disturbing. And I know it's contradictory to, to a lot of people, but I'll try to explain. So what, is, what are you actually looking at on screen is in your central view. 
it is not in your peripheral view. Your peripheral view is, in fact, the ambilight or the light around it. By changing or letting ambilight follow the colors which are on screen in your peripheral view, you get a, a wider, more immersive experience. And that's been immediately the, the key or the core element of ambilight, that whatever is happening around the screen is not necessarily disturbing you because you're watching the center of the screen. And because it's following the light or the colors of the picture, you get a wider view. And it's very contraintuitive for, I know, graders who say, no, we have to keep that color to the, to the stable reference that D65 is. But what you do if you add these colors and let them follow the picture, is that your view is exploded so big that normally you're watching just a television in a black or small lit environment. By doing ambilight, it is really filling the room with the picture. And it's not disturbing because, well, we can say that, but we see that from our users. So the, our user data really shows that 80% of the people who use, who have bought a Philips television, with Ambilight that are still using Ambilight for many, many years. So they don't switch it off. They don't see that point of uh, disturbing because you probably get a lot of people saying, oh, this is like a Christmas tree and the, the lights are moving all around and this is very strange. Uh, this is really annoying. No, no it's, I, it's proven that it's not annoying. It's proven that it's getting getting sucked into the action, you're getting sucked into the the picture because of the extending of the picture. Speaking for myself as a mm. calibrator and somebody who works in grading shoes, I can see obviously there's there's the benefit to the bias lighting in that situation. Outside of that reference color critical environment, I can see actually, you know what, it could be quite a bit of fun mm -hmm. as well. Um, if you're playing all sorts of different kind of content, you've got you know, some sort of lighting in the room, except we're not in a reference environment anymore. So, uh, so I can I can understand what you're what you're you know, alluding to there. So um. yes, correct. You have a lot of content where you want to step out of that reference uh, environment uh, and watching football or you're playing a game. Yeah. Ambilight is really designed for this kind of content where your immersive experience is much more important than the creative intent. Mm of uh, having a fixed D65 bias lighting. Yeah. So that's the reason why it's so popular with our users. They, people don't necessarily understand Ambilight when they buy it, but once they've experienced Ambilight, and that we see all across in our data analysis and, and, and people coming to us saying, look, I've, I'm hooked on Ambilight. It is a real, benefit it I never expected this to happen and that's because you're using it in your peripheral vision if you look to the movies of and this movie will probably go to to YouTube you will see a television but you will see a television with ambilight in your central view and you look to the picture and the ambilight at the same time and you see well this is disturbing uh, the, the the, the lights are changing all around, and but, but this is not how you experience the television in real life. You experience the television uh, looking centrally, and in, in your peripheral version, you have the ambilight activating or uh, acting to, to what's happening on the picture, and you get this immersive experience. That's great. Thank you very much for explaining the uh, Ambilight system here in this uh, new Philips 908 television. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm.